All right, welcome back everybody. My name's Austin. A class action lawsuit has just been filed against 11 Bitcoin companies. This channel brought you this information first. And it's not just Bitcoin companies. They're trying to take down Binance. They're trying to take down KuCoin, BitMEX. They're trying to take down Tron and EOS and other major crypto companies alleging that those companies sold unregistered securities. Now this is being called the Red Wedding of Lawsuits. Because just like the Red Wedding in the popular HBO series Game of Thrones, this is aimed to be a coordinated massacre against every company at once. At least these 11 companies. So who is affected? Filed Friday in a New York federal court, 11 new punitive class actions were filed on April 3rd by the Roche Friedman Law Firm in the Southern District of New York. The companies that are being named are as follows. They separately name Binance, Civic, B Protocol, Status, EOS's Block One, Kdex, Quantstamp, Buybox, the Tron Foundation, KuCoin, and a couple others, including notable figureheads of these altcoins, Brendan Bloomer and Dan Laramir, uh, the leadership of EOS, CZ, founder of Binance. These people, these companies, are who the Roche Friedman Law Firm are attempting to take down. Now, this is being taken so seriously because the astute observer may recognize Roche Friedman Law Firm for their work. Roche Friedman was notably the same law firm behind the Bitfinex market ma manipulation suit in October of 2019, and was also the same firm that represented the Kleiman estate, aka the good guys, in its billion dollar lawsuit against the self-professed Bitcoin investor Craig Wright. So the point is, this is a legitimate law firm with a solid track record and seemingly a legitimate case. But under what grounds are they trying to take down Binance and Tron and EOS and KuCoin? Well, one theme in common, they all allege that the token issuers, so those companies, those people, took advantage of the market's lack of understanding and awareness of how cryptocurrencies work. And they sold these alleged illegal securities to US citizens. That is their crime, allegedly. That is what they're being charged with. And the lawsuit asserts that those companies pitched their tokens as so-called utility tokens, which they claim did not need to be registered as securities. They said, oh, we're a utility token. We don't need to register as a security. Well, the prosecutors disagree, and this is now going to U.S. District Court. Hey, so I have a question. How does this affect you as the average individual? If you bought Binance Coin, if you bought Tron or EOS, or bought a little bit of KuCoin token, how does this affect you? Well, the Tron Foundation. Tron may be in serious trouble. We're going to get to Tron. But first, let's start with the exchanges, KuCoin and Binance. Both of those exchanges are offshore exchanges, meaning that they're not registered in the US. And I guess that argument may well be that they are not proper parties because they, they say on their website, at least, they exclude US persons from their platform. Although if you've tried, it's not that hard especially in the hype of 2017 to 2018, everybody in the US was on Binance, was on KuCoin. Additionally, these exchanges may face liability for sale of securities because they were unlicensed broker dealers if these tokens are ultimately determined to be securities. If they are, the exchanges weren't licensed broker dealers. So let's take KuCoin. Thus, for example, the KuCoin lawsuit said it is filed on behalf of investors who purchased 10 digital tokens that KuCoin sold since September 2017 without registering as broker dealers or national exchanges. Those 10 tokens include EOS, SNT, QSP, KNC, Tron, Lend, ELF, CVC, and Tomo. The most popular ones obviously being EOS and Tron. And remember, EOS has already settled with the SEC and they were proven to be an unregistered security. And EOS had to pay a lot of money for that. And notice, KuCoin, did they necessarily do anything wrong? Well, yes, they do have the KuCoin token, but also just for listing it, they are now facing prosecution. If the court finds that any of these were in fact securities and were sold without a registration by KuCoin, which was of course not registered as a broker dealer, it may face not only hefty damages, but further scrutiny from state and federal security regulators who will surely be following these cases. Well, Austin, what about Binance? Similar allegations are also made against Binance that the listing agreements it made with the token issuers, so the companies, the altcoins, the token issuers, 
were all made in violation of Section 5 of the Exchange Act and also without registering as broker-dealers. So this is big. And yes, technically yes, CZ, KuCoin, Binance, they could be proven innocent eventually. It is innocent until proven guilty. But the question is, Binance as an exchange, did they really need a coin to operate? I mean, exchanges have been around for years. What did the coin do except give them an unfair monetary advantage preying on the little guy to help fund their business, right? Binance crowdfunded the world to help them. At least that's how the prosecutors see it. Time will tell. But that brings us to our first fatal flaw in this filing, in this lawsuit, which is these suits name 42 defendants in more than a dozen countries. So crypto companies that are registered in Canada, registered in China, registered in the US, Taiwan, Japan, Malta, Seychelles, South Africa. This really is a class action lawsuit going after companies that are registered all over. Now the problem arises, how do they enforce? How does a US court enforce a company registered in Malta or Seychelles? Good luck, good luck. That, that'll be tough, but they're gonna try. And how this affects you is it would be very hard if they were deemed illegal. It would be very hard for these altcoins like Tron or Binance or KuCoin, these exchanges, whatever, to reach mass adoption if it's now officially illegal for the Western world to invest. That's what's on the line here. So we talked about Binance. We talked about KuCoin. Let's talk about Tron. Similarly, a lawsuit against the Tron Foundation challenges some of the Tron Foundation's initial marketing notions. Originally, Tron was saying, we are not an unregistered security. We're just like Bitcoin. We're just like Ethereum. We are not an unregistered security. Well, this lawsuit is challenging the notion that Tron is anything like Bitcoin and says that it was issued and controlled by the defendants in an entirely centralized fashion. Here is a direct quote from that lawsuit. The creation of TRX tokens thus occurred through a centralized process in contrast to Bitcoin and Ethereum. This, however, would not have been apparent at issuance to a reasonable investor, right? It wasn't obvious to the average person, you, me. Rather, it was only after the passage of time and disclosure of additional information about the issuer's intent, about the Tron Foundation's intent, process of management, and success in allowing decentralization to arise that a reasonable purchaser could know that he or she had acquired a security. Purchasers are thereby misled into believing that TRX was something other than a security when it was a security. This is how that class action is attempting to take down Tron, at least find them, at least have it labeled an unregistered security. Now, this doesn't mean that in general, altcoins are dying. These altcoins, at least some of them, are getting in trouble for preying on the little guy, selling, funding themselves off of individuals without registering. Is it right? Is it wrong? Either way, uh, in the future, we will probably have a newer crop of altcoins that do register as a security because they want to, to take advantage of Western markets. Like this video, like this video if you appreciate being kept informed by this channel. This channel will keep you informed. Now, this class action lawsuit, this dropped on Friday. So when Monday morning comes along, these lawsuits will probably be dismissed by the Tron Foundation, Binance Foundation. These lawsuits will probably be dismissed by the defendants in press releases as ambulance chasing lawsuit trolling. But it's not quite that black and white. There is a case here. A judge in the Southern District of New York, so the same district that this case is going on in, a judge in New York has already ruled in a preliminary hearing order that Telegram's gram tokens are likely securities and should have been registered. And believe me, Tron, Binance, they marketed their coins way more than Telegram marketed theirs. Telegram did everything behind closed doors just to certain VIPs, certain venture capitalists. Tron, they did that too, but they also sold to the little guy. So there is a case here. Anyway, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Next piece of news. Binance is officially planning on launching trading options. This is something that was speculated on. They are launching trading options. And just like shorting, this is another big way that Binance or people that use Binance can use to manipulate the market. And they leaked this information right here. And test flight leaks. Notice anything new? 
right down here, support options trading. So it's not available yet, but in there, it's coming up. That is the video for today. My name's Austin. Like always, see you tomorrow.